Hi, my name is Ann Layton and welcome to the Layton Inclusion. Today, I want to talk about not letting negative people sway you from the truth, especially your truth, because people that want to walk all, all over you will do that. It's 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 a deeper version of a parent telling a kid, oh, you're, it's puppy love, that's not important. It's more so like someone saying, you think this person makes great music or has important policy, but no one likes him except you. Um, it's it's gaslighting. Um, the Monday, uh, February 17th Daily News had this wonderful article about Bronx politicians Mark Jonai and Fernando Cabrero trying to make Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez out as someone that did not support her community, even though she does. And I've, I've, I want to tell you about dealings that I've had with Mark when he was my state assembly uh, person, um, one that's going to totally blow your mind. Just to set things in perspective, I probably made 10 phone calls to his office over his four-year term, and most of the calls were related to paying musicians that played at street fairs. Um, and he was promising also, just FYI, this guy was promising to bring jobs to the Bronx, okay? And he's sponsoring street fairs. One of the street fairs had horse rides, and there was no info posted about the horses, um, not nothing about their health, nothing even about the name of the business that was bringing the horses there. And, and people were riding a, a wagon that the horses were pulling. So their health was... Uh, in, in, you know, someone else's hands, including the horse driver and the horses. Um, so I called his office, um, and I actually called his office because the two horses were sick. They had tumors all over them, and they were walking slow, and there was no water set up for them. And I took photos of them. And one of my friends that was an expert on horse health also called his office, and, and they told her, oh, Ann is always calling our office. Ignore her. Let me, I'm going to repeat that, okay? My elected politician staff complained that I called his office, okay? Let that sink in because our job is to call our politicians' offices. Our job is to write them letters. Our job is to express ourselves. Um, this article... It shows that Mark and Fernando are politicians and not statesmen. If you're an elected public servant, your job is to help your constituents, whatever party you belong to. To see so many Democrats deliberately creating drama for someone that's doing a great job fighting for the poor people of the Bronx, that is crazy. Mark and Fernando are out of touch, old men, and they don't see how hard people work. He's hired people to come to my house to say, can we count on your vote? No. On the other hand, Alexandria went door to door when she ran for office because she was, in addition to, you know, promoting herself, she was fact-finding. What are people looking for? Um... Mark and Fernando's type of bullying can be applied to anything. When someone discredits you and what you've done and what you want to do, you need to set the record straight. And you can do that in many ways, including setting up your own YouTube channel or writing letters to the editor, just speaking up. We have social media for people to speak up against bullies. People that don't want you to acknowledge the truth or they don't want to hear you out, they are part of the problem. Folks poo-pooing your feelings are the problem, like Mark and Fernando. They're going to go through life closed-minded and without accomplishments. One of the great things about setting the record straight is it allows everyone to improve relationships and to become prolific because they're not using their time to screw things up. They're using their time to accomplish something. So let's think about that. What are ways you can turn your past negativity around? Think of the people you, you closed your heart to and what they were trying to say. If you're looking for ways to turn around a time that put you in shame, talk with the people that you did wrong. Chances are your heart will mend 
because you got rid of some deep shame. Comment below, subscribe at the light. Thank you so much.